Siri TV Monarch Legacy of Monsters musim kedua bakal menambah pelakon Amber Mid Thunder daripada filem prequel Predator yang berjudul Prey. Amber Mid Thunder bakal memainkan watak baru bernama Isabel, an intelligent and powerful business woman. Pada pendapat anda, adakah watak baru Isabel ni, lakonan Amber Mid Thunder bakal menjadi ejen Monarch ataupun seterusnya Apex Cybernetics. The description of the character was intelligent and powerful business woman. So I'm thinking or Apex technology, the Apex cybernetics lah. Uh, the chief antagonist in the universe. Okay, we don't know much about the show, there's no role yet because there's literally nothing online. I tried to do some background search. But to me, it's a good casting. Ember, Ember has uh, has the skills and the chops lah. You know, she elevated she elevated the show Prey, which could have been a simple, basic Predator movie. The, it, it, it 70% relied on her to carry the entire film. You know, her and the dog. So, I'm looking forward to it lah. She's a, she's a talented actress. What do you think plot-wise? Because uh, pengakhiran season one was Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, yeah. are we going to cover the remainder all the way to the most recent Godzilla X Kong? If if they were to do that, it will require a time jump. It will be fitting that it will be in the same universe as Godzilla X Kong lah. But I have a gut feeling it will be in between to just fill in the blanks. They wouldn't want to limit themselves in terms of the theatrical films of of covering what happens after, you know, because the way this show works, if I know, if you notice, that it fills in blanks in between. It works in the pockets of the theatrical movies. So, I think that's what they will do moving forward, lah. Kind of like uh, Agents of Shield was initially, lah. I guess. Yeah. 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 What you feel, lah? What you yeah. I I kind of love uh, penulisan Matt Fraction. Matt Fraction started out sebagai seorang penulis komik. Uh, Mula-mula indie komik kemudian dia jadi ditulis untuk Marvel dan DC. So yeah, Matt Fraction berjaya melompat daripada industri komik USA ke industri Hollywood, filem dan seri TV. So yes, yeah. akan. And, and I, I have a gut feeling. I also have a gut feeling that we will see the we call it how Godzilla, the Godzilla Kong, the first Godzilla Kong set in Hong Kong where they actually uh, create Mecha Godzilla. You know, if if Apex Cybernetics is involved, then we probably might see how that took place. Or we see the results of Apex Cybernetics trying to recover post what happened in Hong Kong because they were the ones that that caused the destruction, right? Yeah, the boss yeah Mampa, definitely. With the boss, with the boss being dead, it probably be a board member being brought in, you know, a new new CEO. It'd be interesting, lah. The TV show is uh, character driven rather than kaiju driven. Yeah, and your hopes for the the basically the triangle that tak ada lah, tinggal keko je. So you're yeah. talking about Keiko in the modern world. I just want to see more, more dynamic with the, with all the characters, the brothers and sister dynamic, which is quite interesting. And also now that the father is now in the in the real world, right? The, when it, so we get we get to see what really happened last season, lah. We didn't really get to f- have finality with what happened towards the last uh, end of last season. Hmm. Betul. Betul. Only this time around, I think Anna Sawai will be the star of the show, lah. Because lepas series show gen dah boom. Dia dah yeah. jadi macam yeah, Hot stuff yeah. Emmy winner yo. Hot Emmy stuff. winner Yeah Betul so, Sebagai seorang normie Yang tak pernah layan mm-hmm. Siri Monarch ni Adakah penglibatan pelakon Amber Mid Thunder The breakout actress Daripada filem prequel Predator Yang berjudul Prey Akan memberi anda Extra motivation Untuk check out Monarch season 2 You know For the plots bro Dah ada Anna Sawai Sekarang kita ada Amber Mid Thunder Banyak plot bro Banyak plot eh um, The thing is about Monsterverse dia macam the 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 first aku rasa the, the first Godzilla movie was was like it's there they found the footing there and apa tu and then apa tu Godzilla Godzilla King of the Monsters dia dah apa tu trying to balance out macam first tu more like human drama kan and then King of the uh, King of the Monsters is trying to like half monster monster bashing half human drama and then as the the series of movies goes along it's less and less and less humans so dorang tolak all the human drama now to monarch i i guess they're doing macam kau cakap from what i can piece out together this is like apa tu monster versus agents of shield again basically <laughs> so in re- in regards to that aku rasa macam i don't know man i don't know how aku tanya kau orang dulu lah, sebab macam uh, kita dah tengok cerita ni kan um, Godzilla minus one kan. So and that is orang kata 
a very compelling case of how you integrate human drama into apa the Godzilla universe kan so macam aku dah tahu how significant is it apa tu um, monarch ni and the grandest keep of things and when it comes to like solidifying monster verse sebab bagi aku monster verse tu uh, macam very this is, very is begin ya yeah, okay alright yeah, okay. uh, cuma kau ingat, kau ingat uh, uh, cuba kau ingat uh, MCU phase 1 2 3 di mana shield hmm. was a very prominent role kau ada maria hmm. hill kau ada so yeah nick fury so this is nearly the same thing it goes all the ah. way back to the to the first time manusia jumpa godzilla and even uh, mm. you know it gives a nod kepada uh, kong skull island which was the prequelous movie untuk dalam timeline ni eh. so yeah since kong skull island and then penghabisan tu macam menjanjikan monarch so it started from there all the way to uh, godzilla king of the monsters so it's nice to like, slot in what happened in between the decade it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a plot filler lah <laughs> you know, why you why you consider as plot holes? This is the 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 the, the sumbat themselves in those holes. Okay, okay. Like. Yeah. Uh, memang macam ni eh, macam macam Azushil. So okay, when you guys when you guys to I'm going to discuss. Um, bila bila kau macam cakap pasal apa tu? Uh, dia is the lead in apa tu kan pre kan? So mm-hmm. aku macam sebab this are two totally different films. Sebab uh, pre two is about survival of fitness and how do you overcome the predator kan so uh, and then dia orang she's like in a, a, apa dia kata in a tribal setting kan she's in a tribe kan so aku tak tahu macam mana how apa tu her prowess in there can contribute to the uh, to monarch season tu so I, i i have yet to apa ni have the drive to see monarch so let's see lah sebab aku pun macam apa awal-awal tu aku tengok apa tu the pairing of Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell as like the same characters tapi muda, muda dengan tua kan that was intriguing tapi at one aku macam macam malas sebab apa tu aku tengok the the apa tu how more and more the, the so aku tengok the movies mostly kan how inconsequential the monster verse is so I'm not sure if if Mona can add any value to it so Let's see lah if um, Amber Mitanda is going to coax me into watching this. Let's see. I for now, I still I'm still not sure if I I want to watch it. So tengok lah. Hmm. Macam mana? Dia, uh, dia perumpamaan dia iki dia macam uh, bagaimana siri The Penguin buat kau look back and appreciate on film The Batman yang, yang ah. agak mid, you know. Uh, so that's oh, how. Uh, so Monarch <laughs> dia dia mengubah uh, you know all the lameness of the monsters. Tiba-tiba kau macam, oh, this is some serious shit, man. This, this some okay. shit going down, man. So, so maybe I should approach Monak macam penguin lah. Yeah, yes, yes exactly. I would. Okay, alright. Right. So, just, just to give you, okay. just to give you context lah. That, that, you know, there's if you watch the original Godzilla, right? The first, not not the original, is in the first Godzilla, this monster verse. There's a scene where Godzilla goes across the we call the Golden Great Bridge, right? Remember the the Golden Great Gate Bridge in uh, San Francisco. What the, what you see in the series is the perspective of the people on the Golden Gate Gate Bridge, the devastation yes. that happens there. So on yes. at Ground Zero, yeah, and you get ah, you get the emotional the emotional ramification of seeing a monster that freaking big tiba tiba datang and destroy your entire life. You know, mm. so you get ah uh, so you get that so you get that PTSD, the emotional impact, the the, the and it's called like, it becomes a very human. You brings it down to a very human level. Like. You know? So yeah, definitely should approach this as as penguin more so than Agents of Shield, lah. Okay, got yeah, it. yeah, got it. <laughs> got it. The reason why the Agents of Shield comparison comes in is because both are agencies, lah. You know, so yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, easier yeah. to uh, so it's easier to pitch to someone like you know who hasn't seen the show or anything like oh, it's like Agents of Shield, but it, at its core, it's a human story. It's very human story. It's about about parental relationship, lah. It's about you know all that stuff. Apa kita perlu kita tanya? So kita dah discuss. Uh, Monarch season 2 ni will it set up events for King of Monsters because that's the last part of season 1 punya finale. It, it could be, it could be. Uh, the thing is we uh, or we could see a time jump. So I because uh, uh, the events of King of Monsters are pretty, pretty much self-contained that uh, any additional viewpoint would probably be now. I see where it adds value would probably be in uh, what I call that uh, Godzilla Kong 1. Mm. You know, because uh, because that Yeah, because as you, you introduce Apex Cybernetics, you also have the whole. There's a lot of plot holes to cover, lah. You know, the opportunity for them to fill in gaps. The King of Monsters is very tight on its own already. It's very self-contained. 
though I would love to see you know more stuff lah. You know, anything with uh, King Ghidorah and all that would be freaking cool oh, to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially part yang Vegas can attack tu. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Bas Pop TV untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.